Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. Today I am going to show you how to load data into IPM planning application using FDMEE. This is activity number 6 and today we are going to see how to ignore member mapping. There are many scenarios where you get data from source file or source system and there are some column which you do not like to map or store into your planning application. So without modifying your source, how you can ignore a specific mapping. Let's do this. So before we proceed further, I like to explain you my source source system. I've taken a simple flat file in this example in this case, and we understand what is what. So it's a good idea to open this flat file and start mapping what is what. In this example, the first field which you see over here, it's basically mapping to your account dimension. So it is the cache 101, cache 102, and cache 103. You see in first three field are mapping to my account dimension cache. You see an account dimension under all account, balance sheet, assets, short term asset, and we have current asset. Under this we have cache 1110. Triple one zero. So a cache is an alias, and triple one zero is basically a name of your account dimension member. So all these three accounts are mapped and form your cache. You can also display them. They are going to be concatenate, or add up, and store into your cache. This is your first field. Next one. Is your one one zero. This 110 is basically anti dimension. I can look at this anti dimension which map to your total facilities 110 facility resources, right? So this is entity, it'll map to entity in the same fashion. Recognize other member as well quickly. I remember P0001 is basically mapping to your product. It is mapping to product and uh, we quickly cross check over here under product pre double zero is mapping to product which is no product and we also have p one double zero make a note over here the whole source file there are two product and both of them are mapping to products just make sure the member exists okay before you load data and then working is your working is your version working is your version you can check over here under version dimension we have a working version in addition to this the next member is the source file is your sales department this field i like to ignore because i don't have a department dimension this is going to ignore in our target application planning application i don't have any department and last one is your this is your amount or your facts or your measure and fdm contact this is amount now we know what is what we can define a mapping now quickly the initial steps will remain same you open your navigate administration data management go to data management screen and uh, Initial step you need to do it once for system setting. My source is flat file to define profile type as flat file and specify the folder where your flat files and other artifacts are going to store. So I've already specified this. This is on the C drive data source. Okay. Then under application setting, define application setting. You see, I don't have a target application over here, which is vision application. Right. So I create a target application, source and target application. A source is text file source is text file the mapping of text file is already given okay if you want you can create a new source click on add and define source as ERP file peoples of JD Edward uh, Oracle EBS SAP SAP BW or simple say file and define the name of the file and other parameter you can give new file and the context global ODA 
context code is default is global in case you want to write back drill down you can specify over here so we already have one source or flight file therefore i don't need to give any new source system target in this example the target application and planning application when you click on plus all the applications are available supported applications of planning financial management as space arm or profitability i select planning application okay and all the planning application will pop out over here i'll select a planning application vision the first time it takes a little time to populate i select the planning application over here vision and uh, define the mapping right so you see that the first column is dimension name second column is target dimension class dimension type and data table column name you see in this example is one to one mapping entity map to entity version map to version account product map to generic dimension scenario year and period in addition to this we also have one more member called department i will load into my uh, staging table but i will not load into my target application so i map department dimension to generic department dimension map to generic and this is map to user defined three i save it and you see over here i got another target called vision and then the next important thing go to application setting define the path of your the folder where your vision application artifacts are going to store i already stored created one folder and map to the same this is a folder path see the data source vision application the moment you create folder the three files gets created folder in turn created all data inbox and outbox okay as we discussed in the first session done now we we'll do what next step we create an import profile click on import profile and uh, define the mapping of it click add and define the name over here i'm going to load name it as vision load and source is erp which is your kind of flat file and target is your epm right what is source is a flat file Define delimiter as delimiter as comma. In my source file is a comma as a delimiter and target is a planning application. See the source file as a comma delimiter. Done. Save it and then we define mapping. What is what? Okay. So just do for mapping over here. Uh, I say the first column is my account dimension. Right. First column is account dimension, which is field number one. expression i leave it as a default second one is second one is your anti dimension so entity is this one this one entity which is field number second in a similar fashion map to all product is your third where is product product your third field number third working version is a working version version equals to working Field number four, five number. I need to ignore it, which is my department. So I name it as department. Field number one, two, three, four, five. And finally is your amount, which is field number six. Right? Cross check one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All mappings are done. Click on save. Now I don't need to drill your drill URL. So I leave it. import profile is done i define location i create a new location for planning load click on plus define a location name i name it vision load okay import format define the one which you just now created it vision load sometime it a little slow it takes some time Okay, it was stuck up. So I select vision application here and click on OK. Right in our location. Now we can keep all the option default for now. We'll go with the default option as of now. Next to this, 
we define period i'm going to load data for f515 this is the default setting i have done i'm loading for f515 quarter one january for the month of january we are loading data make sure you have a period january period quarter one and for year is f515 you can load a multiple period as well right we'll go by default and then finally we go for category which is your scenario we have got two category here over here actual and forecast and the mapping is actual map to actual forecast map to forecast and the frequency uh, often erp from erp system actual comes on monthly basis and forecast on quarterly or it could be budgeting or budget and focus both may come on quarterly basis however is in your hand you can make it daily monthly quarterly and yearly i make it quarterly for forecast and actual for monthly i click on save so all mappings are done finally i go for workflow and do another important task called actual data loading data mapping so as of now we did all the mapping detail to your staging now we do mapping detail um, for from staging to your target application select the location vision load and for the period of january and category is actual and define mapping so in this example as i explained our custom one cache 101 102 103 map to my cache okay so i can simply copy this and do the in mapping because there are multiple records and hi here i use a comma operator comma cache 101 cache 102 and 103 map to my target cache i can directly type over here alternatively I click on search and map it as well we can search execute mode online locate for the member and map it this is under account your all account your balance sheet your short term asset or current asset and map it that's it save it give a rule name all account save it and the same fashion i map to department department is going to ignore so explicitly name an department and uh, target is ignored my name is ignore field save same fashion you do for entity in this example entity is triple one double one zero double one zero if you are sure the target value double one zero or you can locate it search it so name it entity map i can do explicit mapping this is not required department also i can do explicit mapping i skip off my mind i use explicit mapping over here department is your sales department is going to be ignored save it and in one I'm going to remove it I don't need it now And once again check the entity entity i also make it explicit 110 map to 110 save this and in mapping which if i have done it i remove it we need only explicit mapping and finally your amount product product map to p triple zero underscore triple zero p triple zero one p triple zero map to p triple zero and another one is Broad mapping. Ah, sorry. This is also explicit mapping. Explicit. Click add. And another one is we have two product P underscore one double zero. Save it and close it. Right. So you have done all the mapping. Now we do data load rule. In data load rule. I create a new load rule summary click add define your name i call this vision load 
I'm going to load for actual. You can load for actual and forecast. Here a single period load. Target is planning application. Select import profile. Vision load. Select the file name. This is my file name. Planning load ignore. That's it. Click save. It's in default path, so directory is not required to be given. Click on execute. Define your loading from source to target for the period of January start period and end period. And you can use replace or append because we are loading it first time, so it really doesn't matter. You are using replace and append. Click on run. This submit as a job and process ID is 182 and extract ID is 130501. We wait for a few seconds to complete. It will take few seconds to complete this task. I got an error. We'll do the root cause analysis of this issue. One way you can click on this and debug the log file. That's one way. Okay. Alternate way you can go to workbench and quickly see the mapping is done correctly. Most often it's a human error. I could see over here the mapping for for version is missing. Mistakenly I did not give a mapping for version. We go back to data load mapping, select version and map it. This I forgot to map. So I have a version called working version, map to working version. Right. We have working version, map to working version. That's it. And save it. Now we rerun it. This is iterative task. Execute once again, import and load to the target. Most often you have human errors, you forget to map, you miss a spell, double quotes are missing. Okay, so don't worry about it. You can look at the mapping and you get a clear picture about it. You can further debug this by looking to log file as well. And this time when I refresh it, I find it's a green check mark. It means all mappings are done. Look at workbench, I can see import is done successfully, import done successfully, validation done successfully. Export also done, right? And final step, I go to my uh, smart view and test the data is correctly loaded or not. Okay, we'll finally check the data. We go to planning application. You can open create data form and check over there by creating planning application data form. Alternatively, you can check in a smart view. You can open this in Excel, create ad hoc grid, and do this. The shortest way to create ad hoc grid. Connect to your space, our planning. I'm um, because data got loaded finally into S space. I can directly check from there. I have got two instances of S space. I select my vision application, plan type one, right click and ad hoc analysis. This is shortest way of testing it. So which account it is? It is cash account. I can type over here cash or one zero one. For which period I'm loading it for January. Which year F515, right? It was January F515. Uh, scenario was actual. I loaded for actual. I loaded for working version. You remember the working version? Entity is double one. No, entity is double one zero. Product we loaded for P underscore triple zero and P underscore one double zero. Account we loaded for account is account was cash one member we skipped it. Let me do it once again. I right click and ad hoc analysis. Do a fresh tree. Account okay, it appeared twice anyway. Cash period is January, year is F515, scenario is actual, version is working version. You can drill down as well, and it is double zero, double one zero, and product is P underscore triple zero. I find this easiest and fastest to do it. Retrieve, right? Make sure your intersection is correct. Cash. 101 F515 January facility is no product and account 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
I got one dimension extra cash seems to be correct incorrect so I'll type it explicitly triple one zero and let's test it retrieve now I have got data three zero nine zero let's sum them up thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand forty is thousand three thousand ninety for product P triple zero we have got one more product so we'll test one other product as well to one more product we have got P underscore one double zero P underscore one double zero right let's refresh it and see this is thousand three hundred let's sum these three rows thousand twenty thousand forty thousand forty is thousand one hundred perfect so data got loaded successfully eventually so we manually test it as well we ensure data loaded as expected that's it for today and subscribe to our youtube channel to access more videos should you have any question please visit to our site www.bsptrainings.com and thanks for joining today's session